So here's a very quick video which I hope will help somebody maybe save you some money. I know it certainly saved me about £200 from not having to buy a new converter. I use a GH6 and a GH5 with my filming and I have a converter on the front to be able to use Canon lenses like this 24 to 105 lens. Just stick it on, put it on, para, all ready to go. However, I don't really know that much about cameras, so when it came to buying a new lens, I wanted to get a 24mm lens, ta-da, the pancake one, I thought, there you go, it's Canon, it's going to work, but I didn't realise that this was an EFS lens, and therefore, when I try to put this, let's line her up, on the front, it doesn't fit because of this big flange on the back. So I started to hunt around to try and see about buying a new converter for the GH6 in order to be able to use this lens. Now I did buy a very cheap one off Amazon that allowed it to fit, but because this needs the autofocus, um, because the manual focus on it does not operate, um, it didn't work. So I was then looking at alternatives and it was going to cost me around about £200 to try and buy a converter for the GH6 and GH5 uh, to be able to use this little pancake lens. And then somebody online suggested removing the flange on the back and I'm like really that sounds dangerous but it's not that bad. Now the COA here of course is that there is a way you can damage your lens doing this so please be very careful. If you're not sure just don't do it and maybe buy a converter. Now first thing to do if you are going to try this is get like a cloth or something safe and then you have to extend the lens out like that. So I just kind of push in there. Of course, that's the first place where you can really kind of cause a problem. But then all you do is stick your finger inside the hole and once you find the right, whoops, once you break your other, you'll break your camera, this just pulls out. Now you can see you're now left with all of the gubbins inside. So here's the next warning is that when you do this, you're now, because you've exposed all this stuff inside your lens, you're leaving this very vulnerable to um, getting dust and all that kind of stuff inside that might kind of, basically what I'm saying is take care of your lens if you can do this. However, now that I've done it, let's spin around. It now fits onto my Micro Four Thirds EF adapter and it'll use the autofocus. And so this definitely does work in terms of being able to use an EFS lens on a EF converter. But like I say, you have to take a little bit of care when it comes to taking off that flange because frankly, it's meant to be there for a reason, which also then means that you don't have the protection of the back of the lens body. So when you do take this lens off, make sure and put it somewhere safe, put the cap on the back, maybe even put the flange back on again before you put the cap on. Just take care of it. All right. So there you go. There's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Good luck with filming. Um, and I really don't give camera advice because like I said, this isn't the kind of thing I do.